Fortinet. Um, they recently mm -hmm. launched two uh, next generation firewall solutions targeted at large hyperscaler um, data centers, as well as mid-sized data centers. And, you know, it's funny, uh, and I know, Matt, you, you, you know, you kind of track zero trust and, and all of that as well. So we, we sort of cover that uh, together. But, you know, companies like Zscaler um, often, you know, call out that uh, the firewall is dead. But um, Fortinet certainly proves that that's not the case. And in fact, as I talk to many customers, um, they continue to, to deploy firewalls. It's just sort of an extra, you know, layer of protection, even within environments where things like zero trust and, you know, network access from a universal perspective are implemented. But let me let me get your take on that, Matt. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think the firewall is dead from a marketing perspective. It's not a fun story to tell anymore. Right. But, um, <laughs> like VPN, but, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> like VPN, right? Um, yeah, right. Uh, ZDNA is going to replace VPN. It's but it's like or ZTNA, but it's like uh, you know the firewall is is uh, long live the firewall is dead. Long live the firewall. Companies mm -hmm. are. Um, are still consuming, you know, the cap or are still needing the capabilities of firewall, even in this world of zero trust and the way security is so fragmented now, right? And you've got mm -hmm. point solutions for everything. Eh, firewall's not going away at all. Cisco makes a healthy living off, you know, their security solutions. Um, you, know, you mentioned Fortinet, you know, there are companies like Hillstone. There are a lot of companies yeah. out there um, that are making a healthy living. And and I it's funny you mentioned the hyperscalers because to me, that's kind of, that's a very sweet spot for, and I think more specifically around kind of the XSP, right? Whether it's cloud, ISP, MSP, and mm -hmm. the, the requirements they have around um, and, and service providers in general and standing up um, and protecting the millions of users they have, you know, whether it's consumers and households or uh, enterprise customers, it ain't going anywhere. Um, and yeah. it's it, I'm glad to see Fortinet in there um, you know, they're, they're a leader and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to see these companies that have, you know, such strong presence in the security space, kind of doubling down and, and leaning into this more and not kind of playing into the hype. Yeah. You know, and I, I think Fortinet just, you know, in particular, they've, they've been sort of, I think, positioned in the past as sort of the value leader. You know, you mentioned other companies that that provide firewall solutions, and you know, Palo Alto Networks is an, is another. But yep. uh, you know, from my perspective, this really sort of rounds out what they're doing from a portfolio perspective, and um, they're going after some some pretty sizable TAM. You know, targeting the hyperscalers, those really super large data centers, as well as you know, mid-sized ones as well. 